Sometimes in your career, it's really tempting to play favorites and cater to people who you think can help you the most. But the opposite is actually true. Sometimes it's the most unlikely people who can help you the most in your career. I had a student a few years ago who illustrated this perfectly. He was telling me about an interview he landed, and there's a one company he really wanted to work at. And he took a trip to Oregon and visited his grandma. And as his grandma was asking about his upcoming graduation, what he was looking to do, I mean, she really had no clue what he was studying or his ambitions were, but he decided to be nice grandson and tell her a little bit about what he was doing and looking into. And he happened to mention this organization he really wanted to work at. And his grandma lit up and goes, oh, really? You know, there's a nice young man just down the road who works there. And he goes, oh, okay. And she goes, we should, we should go talk to him. And, you know, begrudgingly, he went with his grandma. Turns out that this guy was one of the vice presidents at this organization. And he just happened to be nice to this student's grandma whenever he saw her walking her dog out and just chatted with her. And this ended up being a fantastic connection for my student and he landed a really awesome interview. And we were just laughing about it because he would never have expected his grandma in a different state who had no clue what he was studying would be the ticket to this really awesome interview. The two things I learned from his story were one, everybody counts. You never know who in your network can help you. But two, he had learned how to talk about what he was doing and explain it in really simple terms so that even his grandma could understand. If you start learning how to explain what you want to do, the problems you can solve, the organizations you want to be with, all of a sudden you'll find out that people who you would never expect can help you in unexpected ways.